is Thursday, May 11th in New York City. Started my morning off today in Southern Connecticut. Had a couple of fantastic meetings with a really, really exceptionally neat uh, company. I can't get into specifics due to corporate whatnot, but suffice it to say that was a fantastically productive morning today. Hopped in the car, uh, went and had quick lunch in Connecticut, had a couple of tacos at a Mexican food restaurant, not too bad, eh, medium, medium of the road, middle of the road, and headed on down to New York City. Traffic was nothing getting here. I think we were spending, I think we spent five or seven minutes in traffic total getting in here. Drove down, dropped my car off at 44th Street at the uh, National uh, Car Rental. Took an Uber to the hotel where I am right now, and one of my colleagues and I are getting ready to go up to the rooftop bar here at the hotel just for a, a one drinky drinky, and then we are going to go out and about, explore a little bit, go have a little bit of dinner. I might catch a workout unless I get in a lot of good walking this evening, and uh, that'll be that. I'll try to catch up soon, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. I had a chance this evening to meet an internet phenom, big time YouTuber, and I would call a celebrity here in New York and other parts of the country. I will also preface this by saying that I have met a number of celebrities, not just YouTube personalities, but more traditional celebrities and more traditional stars, and have found them to be somewhat less than genuine. Um, a little fakey, um, a little big, and I think kind of understandably, they just, they kind of get beaten down from the constant requests and constant pressure from fans and others to perform or take a picture, tell a story, those kind of things. And I kind of get that. I will say that as a 51-year-old non-millennial, but a folennial, I do tend to get a little bit cynical about certain people and expectations about what you might see of them on YouTube versus what you might see in real life. I was excited actually to meet Casey Neistat. He's a uh, fantastic filmmaker, a fantastic movie maker, a fantastic YouTuber, and a, a really a great storyteller. He's very approachable in his videos. He makes the mundane seem okay. Uh, and he really does like to invite you or us as viewers into his life and show us pretty much what he wants to show us. Obviously no YouTuber is gonna show us everything. Um, uh, I won't, um, and I'm sure he doesn't as well. There are certain things that are sacred and off limits. And I totally get that and respect that. That being said, I had the opportunity to meet him this evening and I was a little bit blown away at how gracious he was with the enormity of the crowd and the pressure on him to do selfies and to take pictures and all that kind of stuff while at his wife Candace's event. A few times he did come out of the event for selfies and to say hi to the crowd and whatnot. It was a closed party, a closed event and not everyone was allowed in. And he just kind of made up for that a little bit by coming out and saying hello to some of the fans, a lot of which were there to see Casey and knew he'd be there for Candace's event for Billy, her new, her new business, the new for formal business launch, I guess. That being said, he was extremely gracious, very kind, and very much like you see in the video, I was expecting him to be not like that necessarily. And again, I, I was expecting a Jekyll and Hyde, but there's the uh, aggravation type thing of, yeah, okay, okay, let's do this again, let's get this over with kind of a thing. And he was very generous with his time, genuine with the people he spoke with. And we did a selfie, and I'll pop the selfie right here. And he also uh, indulged me for a moment to shoot a special video, which I will share at a later time. It's, it's, it's a very specific video for a very specific day. Um, and I'm not going to do anything about that right now, but I might show a quick snippet of it here in just a second. I'm hoping to make it to five. Huge congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I will wrap this up by saying that I was very, very happy that he is what he looks to be on, TV, on, on YouTube. Those out there who are casting stones and, and, and tossing a bunch of crap his way 
for being canned and this that, and the other. Well, of course, some of his shots are canned. He admits that. You know, the running things and this that, and the other camera placements and whatnot, walking into an office or a hotel room with a camera already there, of course it's a little bit canned. But the personality is not canned that I, that, that I saw. And there's a genuineness to him, an approachability to him, and he feels a certain obligation to help feed needs that people have to meet him and to get close to him and take photos with him and this and that and the other. Uh, I wasn't kind of groupyish. I wasn't being all, you know, boo 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 type of thing, but the opportunity did present itself and I went for it. I will also say that he is somewhat of inspiration to me on his work ethic and different way he handles different situations and circumstances. I think he has a lot past his years of wisdom. My exercise regime, my my um, trying to stick with my goals and diets and whatnot wasn't entirely his idea. The, you know, the idea wasn't placed in my head from what he does, but the persistence was, and the way he does his running videos and other things like that. Just it's it struck a chord with me and it kind of spoke to me. As a result, I have really stepped up my game for exercise and this that and the other. And I was going to tell him this evening. I just I didn't want to monopolize a lot of time with him when I did have a chance to speak with him, but I, I wasn't tell him that. You know, because of his videos and some of the inspiration that I gleaned from them, I've been on this journey that started 12, 12 videos ago on that day one on the th on the last day of April. Um, so it's been it's been a lot of fun. It was a really interesting time meeting him. He is um, again to all the people who who may think to the contrary. He is to me at least, he is the real deal. He's he's a very nice guy and um, I do wish him the best. And with that, I have just come back from the gym, just changed out my old sweaty t-shirt for another t-shirt in order to get a little bit of work done before I go to bed. But I did want to wrap up my first day in New York with that little snippet about Casey and uh, meeting him and internet celebrity internet celebrityism and where that can take certain people so with that i bid you a great night and i will see you tomorrow bye